That's crazy. So you will always you everybody knows you as a spitter. And and you're a lyricist. Is that something by design? When you first started rapping, you said, I'm going to out rap everybody. I'm going to just acknowledge you lyrically. I was a fan of, you know, obviously you gotta start as a fan, and I'm still I still am a fan. So my initial thing was the people that fucked with my head. And um that was Karis one, I'm always gonna say, you know, that's my OG. Um, and then there's so many other people that just said ill shit. And the first, I think, the, I used to correct people's rhymes, like fix them, the lyrics. And the first, <laughs> the first perfect rap I ever heard, the way I couldn't fix nothing, was uh, Nas, um, New York State of Mind. That was okay. the perfect fucking rhyme. Like it was so visual, street shit. It was lyrical. It was, it was, that shit was gangster. It was everything. I was like. That was the perfect rhyme. Um, I kind of just wanted to, at, at the time, I'm dating myself, but it's 1996. We know what we're talking about. So yeah. I wanted a tape or a record with my fate, with my voice on it. And I wanted to, I wanted everybody who I thought was dope, you know, Tupac, Biggie, Nas, Rakim, Coogee Rap, Big Daddy Kane. I wanted those people to say, hey, little dude, you kind of fresh. And that was my goal. And I, and they say that to this day. And that was my blessing, you know. But they say be careful what you get. I should have wanted a whole shitload of money. So that's my new shit. <laughs> I want to say I'm really dope and with a shitload of money. That's funny because <laughs> wasn't you over there with Aftermath writing for Dre? Yeah, I did a little what happened, bit of everything. What happened to that? I mean, it was just you know because that, that that was your shitload of money. What you should be there now. I mean, you know, things happen, man. man you know, I, I front, been stop fronting right now. I Keep it real. I might have been a. You was a problem child over. I've heard some stories about you it's over not, there. It's not and that And I heard true. she was being difficult because you wanted to be more of a rapper than a writer. That's not really what it was. Okay, what was it? I, I don't know. I think you baited me on some bullshit. <laughs> 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 that was totally not true. No, um, I just think that uh, I think Dre had a lot of love for me. Um, he always gave me, a, a, you know, he first and foremost, he's a fan also. So he loves talent. Um, I was already signed. I was signed a priority record. He needed an aftermath artist. And yeah. I think once they started getting their team together, they created a team. And that kind of, you know, outside of the fact that, you know, me and Royce were arrogant fucks. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck. I was young, arrogant. I was pretty. I'm like, fuck that. So nigga. what I said wasn't nothing. too far off of what, you, well, what it was the real no, one. No, because it wasn't. I liked writing. I enjoy writing. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I just think that... Um, at the time, I kind of was, I was already signed. And yeah. so my de my devotion couldn't be, my commitment couldn't be the aftermath. My commitment had to be the priority record. Yeah. So, you know, and I was it. At the time, I, you know, my baby mom was getting preggy. I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to have a fucking kid, all kind of shit. But it, you could have been a ghost writer. Your man Skills is a super ghost writer. I know, you know what? I don't know. And Pharaoh, a lot of people, I don't know. Yeah. Is it, you know what I really think, except for uh, Aftermath, a lot of people use ghost writers, but on the West Coast, they don't admit to it and they won't really pull you in. They'd rather pull somebody else or some little boo boo loke from down the street. Yeah. And then, <laughs> you know, they give him some weed and let him be on stage and shit. I'm not taking that shit. You yeah. Gotta yeah. Pay me. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, but it's, it's not, it's, it ain't done to the fat lady. Without know. a doubt, you still, you still, yeah. you still got. I, I got a heavy pen. My pen is nice. You got a lot of, a lot of life in you. <laughs> a lot of bars up in here. So you know, shit, hey, if you want, son, I make your shit hotter, man. Come on. Exactly. So how that razz or whatever, you know.